hi welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to use the new scan lambda apple function to calculate percentage of grand total so let's get started in my previous video i discussed how to use the map function so i'm going to put a link in the description in order for you to watch now let's see what the function does the scan function now the function scans an array by applying a lambda function to each value and returns an array that has each intermediate value now i'm going to break this down in pieces as we go further now let's see what we want to accomplish in our sample data set okay we have these records and the data is formatted as an excel table and we have meaningful table name okay now the goal is to extract all the year in column b to column g and then we perform the sum ifs to calculate the sys amount and then we deploy the scan function to calculate the percentage of grand total now i'm going to start in cell j2 and deploy sort and unique dynamic address now because this data is in an excel table so i can actually look for this black pointed arrow select the entire column close the two parentheses control enter so we have extracted the unique years and also sorted it in ascending order now let's perform the sys amount equal sign sum ifs now the sum range is going to be the sys amount in column h comma the criteria range one is the many side okay in column b comma and the criteria one is the unique extracted year in column j so i click on j2 close the parenthesis control enter then we send down the report Control shift 4 to apply currency specified in your regional settings and then let's get rid of the decimals okay so these are the six amount for each of the year okay now let's see how to use the scan function so i'm going to come here and start by typing scan okay now the first argument which is the initial value it sets the starting value for the accumulator and the second argument which is the array is the array to be scanned and the lambda is what we need to call in order to scan the array and the lambda function very importantly requires two parameters which are the accumulator now the accumulator is the value totaled up and returned as the final result and the value which is the second parameter is the calculation to apply to each element in the array now for the initial value input value so i'm going to click on the value in cell k2 comma now for my array i'm going to deploy the sum function now the sum function requires a single argument so i'm going to select the entire result okay now because when i copy the formula down i do not want the k2 to k22 to be moving relatively downward so i'm going to apply f 4 key to make it to be absolute close parenthesis then comma now for my function i'm going to deploy the lambda function here so i'm going to start by typing lambda now you remember we said that it requires two parameters the first one is the accumulator and the second is the value now i'm going to use combination of a comma c now a represent accumulator c represents the value comma now for my calculation i'm going to just say c that is the accumulator divide by a rather the accumulator divide by c and i close the parentheses for the lambda formula and i close for the scan formula now when i deploy control enter absolutely cool we have 0 0.05123 now let's send the reports down with all fail okay and let's apply you know currents i mean the percentage number formatting and let's increase the decimals okay now let's just apply total row here alt equals so this is absolutely cool and we have calculated 
the percentage of current total so let's see it's looking cool so this is how to use the scan let's now replicate the same thing using the pivot table and use the traditional show value as percentage of grand total now i'm going to click on the data sets and come to the insert tab of the ribbon click on pivot table and i want to put it in the existing sheet click on that and let's select the cell let me just move up let me dump it in cell n1 and click ok now let's just build this same report so i need the year to come to the rows area and for the values i'm going to throw in the sales amount okay and let's quickly apply in a number formatting let's right click choose number format and let's use currency get rid of the decimals and click ok so this is the sum of six amounts okay now i'm going to grab this six amount one more time and drop below the sum of six amounts and in here i'm going to use the show value as percentage of grand total so right click and choose show values as percentage of grand total okay and you can actually see that we achieve the same result okay now this result is the use of the new scan lambda apple function and this is the pivotable report and we achieve 100 percent so this is essentially how we can use the scan function as it applies to our daily use of excel i hope you enjoyed this video if you do comment give likes and subscribe to this channel because there is a lot to come thank you and bye for now cheers